He's made Detroit his adopted hometown and he's made a real impact. Today, actor Hill Harper is getting some much deserved recognition for his work in the city. Hill Harper came to love the city of Detroit while he was filming here. And he is now a Detroit resident, business owner, and a major philanthropist, quietly doing some really good deeds all across the city. Well, today, the actor got some much deserved recognition for it, and our Larry Spruill was there. The spirit of Detroit is a powerful symbol here in the Motor City, and today, two people were presented this award for the impact they are making here. I always say, we look at the spirit of Detroit, that big statue downtown. That's not the spirit of Detroit. The spirit of Detroit is what you carry around in your heart. Pretty big words from Council President Brenda Jones Tuesday morning. Those words were followed up with a presentation to some special people who are making an impact in Detroit. One of them is WBC junior middleweight boxer Tony Harrison. Harrison recently won a much anticipated boxing match. And the other one, famous actor, author, and businessman, Hill Harper. Congratulations, and thank you for believing in Detroit. You know, I'm proud to have invested in the city and owning the roasting plant downtown and also the Charles D. Fisher Mansion. It's a mansion Sandra Moore helped design. I've been working with Hill and for a while and Hill actually chose me to do for the renovation for the historic man mansion and it took a whole host of us on our team. Now Harper is not from Detroit, but he tells me the Motor City has a special place in his heart and giving back is important. I think about two words, impact and legacy. Legacy means how long does the impact last? And that's not it. Harper is also investing in the youth here in Metro Detroit. He started a foundation, Manifest Your Destiny. They are partnered with Wayne State University. We're live tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. What a great story to start this newscast. We appreciate that. Thank you, Larry.